All right, guys, today we have a 2020 Billet Silver Metallic Jeep Rubicon Gladiator. We're going to go over the features, the window sticker, do a little drive on this vehicle, show the inside, show under the hood, a little bit of undercarriage, and uh, just go over the details. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom. And wanted to say thanks to Victoria Dodge for providing this vehicle for review today. Sorry, guys, it is a little windy today. Just wanted to do a walk around on this Jeep. Looks like it has Falcon Wild Peak 285 7017 tires on it. The Jeep brand Fox Shocks. I have never driven one of these. First one to drive. Kind of looking forward to it. Your front grill. New lighting. Good scoops. Alright, this is a 3.6 liter V6 engine. It does have the 8-speed transmission in it. Going around the outside, show a little bit of the undercarriage. It's cheap. It is cool link suspension. sticker 1206 pounds in this vehicle as built okay we'll look at the window sticker base price 43,545 billet silver metallic leather trim 3.6 liter 8 speed automatic there's all the options there optional equipment Billet silver metallic, leather trim bucket seats, premium door trim panel, armrest, cup holder. This one has the trailer tow package with the class four receiver, heavy duty engine cooling, LED lighting group, it's the 8.4 Uconnect. GPS. The safety group, park assist, blind spot cross path, auxiliary switch group, they're programmable. Roll up tunnel cover, it's the eight speed upgrade for the 850RE transmission. Body color, it's the three piece hard top, rear sliding window, rear window defroster, freedom panel storage bag, body color fender flares, wireless Bluetooth speaker, And that's the final total price, 58675 for the sticker. So it has nice door panels, has the red leather stitching on it. Seats also have the red leather stitching on them. Uh, looks like it has a heated rear window defroster. See the lines in it. And the seat folds down here. That looks like the Bluetooth speaker. And these are the bolts right here that separate the cab come off it goes around the top the speaker in the whole bar there and then you can see the latches to undo the two top pieces up there on the front and disconnect them from the windshield 
does have two cup holders back here. It has the 110 volt AC and the USB ports. And those are your window up and down switches. And your AC vents for the rear. All right, let's take a look in the back, what the bed looks like. It's a damp and tailgate, which is nice. It does have a tunnel cover. It rolls up, folds up, I guess. Disconnects. Nice to have a Jeep with a bed. There's the instrument cluster. You connect powered on. AC control settings. It does have the automatic start stop where you can disable that. Trash control, parking sensors. That turns the screen off. All of your window controls. Whether you want to lock the windows. There's your USB ports for media. And then down there is all your four wheel drive and lock controls. And it actually has some auxiliary switches there. The four wheel drive shifter and the automatic shifter. Emergency brake, cup holders. It's the top section of the console. It's got a deeper section. It also has a USB port. It's the back seat. And the vehicle does have home link. Okay, getting in, your mirror adjustments, lock and unlock, automatic lighting. Fine lever for the seat. Tilt steering. Climb in the vehicle. It's nice red accents. Looks like the 8.4 U Connect. As far as legroom, it feels really good. You do sit up really high, and the seats feel really soft in this one. My first time driving one of these, so we'll see how it does. So I'm pulling out of the dealership. The vehicle feels very nice. The seats are comfortable. The steering is actually a little bit heavier on it, which is nice. It feels like a little more control. V6 with the 8 speed seems to shift really nice. You almost can't even feel the shifts. And it shifts pretty low, so and it's got a pretty good amount of torque. It's not having to rev, rev up real high to get moving. Very impressed with the road noise in this vehicle also. It's pretty quiet in the inside. So we'll do a standard acceleration from a stop. Just barely pushing on it. This isn't really getting in it. Does really well. And I'm not getting any wind noise out of any of the panels and no rattles. Very, very quiet. Overall, I like it. It's a comfortable vehicle to drive. Appreciate you taking time today to watch the review. I want to say thanks to Victoria Dodge for providing this vehicle. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. If you've got any questions or comments about this vehicle, go ahead and drop them below. We'll try to get those answered. Um, they do have a couple of these Rubicon Gladiators in stock. Uh, four or five of them, I believe. Got a black, a silver, a white there was actually two blacks a silver and a white and i think there's one more so give those guys a call at victoria dodge if you're interested in the vehicle
It's a very nice vehicle. Thanks for watching.